In today's video I will be looking at the 10 most undervalued player in my opinion um, and I make this video because the overvalued got uh, some very good feedback and some of course a little bit annoyed that I mentioned Lionel Messi. So that is why we start off with Cristiano Ronaldo and before I explain why he is undervalued. Um, in today's video, it's of course a Monday video, so you know what that means. One giveaway each week for 52 weeks throughout 2024. The only thing you need to do is subscribe and like every single video from Monday to Friday and I will draw the winner on Friday's video where you need to comment your sorry username. And in this video, uh, we made a little bit of a switch where you get every single reward I win. I'm currently looking pretty good. I will most likely win the threshold, I think. I have some matches left. Uh, so uh, you will most likely get a fiver if you win. Uh, and yeah, uh, let's jump to Cristiano Ronaldo. Why do I think he's undervalued? He's only coming in at $290. Keep in mind he doesn't have any limited cards. And to be honest, the other cards will be way more serious than this, but I thought it could be fun to take a little bit of a look at him and like my main reason is he has uh, he they are playing a very very bad team Faya in the AFC Champions League if he can recover for his, from his injury I think he will be a very very interesting player to buy for yeah here a little over 230 uh, euros last sale uh, and also another reason is yeah just look at his scores he has fantastic scores and also in the euros he will probably be uh, a very important piece uh, in the Portugal team and I think he will go up because there are only 140 minted cards of him and like there are so many people loving Ronaldo so me included of course uh, but uh, this is a little bit of a pent one uh, you can also predict that uh, Al Nasser will come very very far in the group stages in the AFC Champions League um, yeah so uh, let's move on we have Dennis Undav, like he has been just incredible. I have talked to uh, my German friend and he is saying that he may get a starter spot in the German team for the 2024 Euros and that just shows how good he is. Uh, and he is 27 years old and in terms of his price, and keep in mind the price in rare is just unbelievable in my opinion, 188 Euros. It's actually a card out on the market for only that now. And if we look uh, down here, yeah, he has recently been sold for around that price. Uh, in terms of limited now, because he have had such a spike, uh, some of his cards are going for like way, way more. Um, so just like if you're on the limit, uh, if you want to pick him up in limited, please wait a little bit because he has recently uh, gotten a back-to-back -back 90. <laughs> 9 and then a 1998 I mean so please just wait a little bit before um, purchasing him but uh, and I'm uh, very tempted to pick up a limited card of him I'm not going to lie and I think I'll probably do it and also in terms of his rare price uh, especially now I think that is so so fair uh, and um, yeah very tempted to pick him up actually uh, and yeah just look at his scores uh, the only downside with him uh, is yeah, he have had periods where he haven't performed, but if we go all the way down, when he played for Union Saint Gilois, he was just incredible. It was only when he was at Brighton he didn't get the opportunity too much. And now, uh, slowly but steady, he has gotten a regular game time and he has smashed it in the Bundesliga. And I feel like every single striker that plays for Stuttgart does extremely well. I think it is the manager that he's just special. Uh, it's the same with Gurasi. Uh, and um, yeah, but at the moment, Dennis Undav is in incredible form. So if you could, I would probably recommend you to pick up Dennis Undav and Gurasi. Like you have guaranteed for the rest of the, rest of the season a striker that will consistently uh, score goals every single game. Because uh, Stuttgart have some incredible upcoming fixtures. Uh, yeah, they have had some tough fixtures. Freiburg, Leipzig, uh, Bayern München recently and also Bayern Leverkusen. And that is what I love to do when I uh, scout players for the upcoming game weeks in specific. Just of course you can just look at his fixtures uh, like this, but you can also see his last fixtures. If that if those fixtures are tough, he will most likely have better upcoming fixtures. Oh, I've legit sat there for like <laughs> I've sat there for like 20 minutes talking about the rest of the players, and now camera decided to not work. My uh, face was frozen completely. 
Um, yeah, I need a new camera. Just let's put it that way. Uh, am I? Yeah, I'm recording nice. Okay, so I will go pretty fast through the next players because I'm <laughs> so annoyed, but I will still go through the players in depth, of course. Starting off, we have João Pedro. Um, yeah, just he's an incredible player. Way too underpriced, in my opinion. Looking at this price, yeah, so so fair. And in terms of his SO5 scores, in terms of his AA scores, it's just incredible for a forward. You can always rely on him. And um, yeah, in my opinion, very very underpriced and one to definitely look at. Uh, although, um, yeah, he's on penalties, he has a long contract, he's under 23 to 2026. But the only downside, in my opinion, is that Brighton aren't performing too well recently. But uh, I don't think that is... Um, I just think that is temporary, to be honest. We know how good Brighton is. The next one is the Bachelor, Lissandra Martinez, one of my favorite players. Uh, one that I'm giving, a giving, giving away to one of you guys. I hope you still got him in your gallery, because he will just rise and rise and rise. His scores will just get better and better and better. If he stays fit, I can guarantee it. He is so extremely good. I'm not even joking. Um, and um, I'm not even joking. Everyone knows how good Lisander Martinez is. And I think he will get back to these old scores. He got a substitution here, and then he played... Um, yeah, 86 minutes against Wolves, he did very well. When you concede three goals as a defender, of course it doesn't look good, but uh, he had a clearance of the line, he was very, very influential. He was probably one of the best players in, match, uh, in the match United team that game, in my opinion. And uh, yeah, a player to definitely uh, keep an eye on uh, before he goes to the moon, in my opinion. Uh, and of course, we have partnered him up with Andrea Onana in this list because yeah, just way too underpriced in my opinion. Of course he hasn't been performing too well recently, but he's such a good captain for the keeper. Like, when Manchester United now have had so many players back, I've never seen Manchester United play better in my life against Wolf. Uh, Wolf <laughs> against the Wolves. Not in my life, of course, but this season, I mean. Just <laughs> keep that in mind. Uh, it wasn't that uh, good of a performance. Uh, but still, um, he has such a low L15. He will play every single game. For the rest of the season, if he doesn't get injured. I can almost guarantee it, Ten Hag loves Onana. He will stick with Onana no matter what, I can guarantee it. And he is such a good goalkeeper. Uh, he's not such a good goalkeeper, but he is such a good goalkeeper for that price. Let's move on. We have... I have talked so much about him, but we can go through it a little bit. Mohamed Yusuf, one of my favorite players, one of the most undervalued players in this entire game, in my opinion. Incredible scores. Uh, and he is League One proven. He j has just boosted the scores from League One to League Two. Uh, he will play the important part of Ajaku for the rest of the season. For only two dollars and twenty dollars in rare, you don't get a better player for that price, in my opinion. Incredible second division Europe player. If I w were you and you have a second division Europe team, buy him now. One of the most underpriced players in the game. I have him in limited, one of my oldest players, and he's just incredible. You can always rely on him. Uh, even if uh, his team Ajaku concedes like five goals, he can still put out. Uh, yeah, they conceded three goals, they conceded two goals. Uh, he still gets very good scores. Like, it's just incredible with him. Look at it, uh, look there. He would have gotten a 120 pointer. 120 pointer. If. Um, if it wasn't for the capped uh, of, of course, 100 points on Sorer. The next player is Johnny Placide, one of uh, probably the most undervalued goalkeepers in my opinion. I have, of course, another goalkeeper later that I think is more undervalued. He is very nailed at Bastia, one of the best um, clubs in the French League, too, in terms of keeping clean sheets. And uh, yeah, his scores are pretty consistent, pretty good, very good cap to 40 keeper in my opinion. That won't let you down too much. Yeah, they have had some tough features and tough and bad performances recently, but I expect Johnny Placide to still be a very important piece in the future. Uh, and uh, yeah, very, very interesting keeper here that I would definitely um, recommend you to purchase. Low risk, high reward with this one. Next one is Mats Möller Dali. He has moved away from the German two side Nürnberg to Molde. And looking at his scores, it hasn't been the best in the recent times. But remember, the Nor Norwegian league is a pretty big step down from the Bundesliga 2, in my opinion. It doesn't look like he will play in that creative role that he usually does. He will play more defensively. But that could be good for um, his AA. Uh, so, um, this one is a player to definitely take a look at, and uh, yeah, 
like this is a little bit of a risk, but we have no idea how, what we could expect to get out from him now. Uh, but yet, yet again, I think we will see now pretty soon against um, Lega uh, how good he actually is still. But he has been in the Norwegian national team for like the last three or four years. So still and more than that, I think as well. So this one is uh, definitely a player that is a very good player. But we'll just see if he can perform uh, in terms of SO5 scores on Sorer. The next one is Andre Hansen. He has moved from Rosenborg to Odd. I have talked to some on Twitter, the same way Mats Meldali, both of these sh them should be very nailed, especially Andre Hansen. Coming from a pretty good side, Rosenberg, they haven't been performing too well recently, but still, uh, generally spe speaking, they are a better club than Odd, and uh, I think he will be a pretty nailed player. Uh, in terms of limited, rare and super rare, his price are very fair. Uh, one of the best cap to 40 goalkeepers you can get in the summer in terms of price. Um, of the card, of course, and uh, what he can do in terms of SO5 scores. Moving on, we have Antoni Martial, and this is the last one, a little bit of a punt if he gets a move in the summer. This is a card you just buy and hope for the best. You can look at the SO5 scores that it hasn't been the best in recent times. So this one, just buy him. Let him just let him rest in the club. Don't think about him until December. If you get rumored to a club, he will most likely go up because his prices now are so cheap. Uh, that is uh, one case, or you keep him and play him for the next season because he will 100% move away from Manchester United. So if you're a little bit lucky, there are of course a little bit of a risk because if he move away to, for example, Saudi Arabia and Saudi Arabia club. He will most likely go down a little bit, but uh, as I said, his prices are so low either way, so he will only lose like a little bit of money, especially if you buy him in limited. And uh, to be honest, I hope he moves to a, a non-Saudi Arabia club, but you never know. This is the last player. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye, and take care. Peace.